Hello there, welcome back to another game with the Vaya. Today we're playing against Katsu. This is one of those aggro matchups which can go south pretty pretty quick. Um for both heroes to be fair. Uh as Levaya I'm for that reason not too too happy to face a Katsu though. I I I like the Guardian matchups more, for example. They are quite safe to play. They are a lot longer um and quite a grind, but you sort of know what's coming and you're not dead in a in a bad turn or something so yeah let's let's have a look what's coming up here i can tell you with the the new link setup that the cuts is running at the moment the uh, power level in those aggro matchups rose quite a bit in combination with an art of war for example it's, it's like Easily another six points of damage, if not more. So Katsu decides to put out the Ancestral Empowerment turn zero here to leak a damage. We don't really mind. We have the four blocks in hand. We can can fill our graveyard. Start to go ham here. I choose to go go second against Katsu because it's an aggro matchup, as I said, and having the tempo is quite nice. Now, that's a beautiful first hand to have. While not the full um, 18 damage blood rush is guaranteed here, it's quite likely. And, yep, this way we even get 21 damage. Now, Katsu starts just taking, and coming from Katsu, I. or even. Everyone should know that if the Katsu wants to keep his five card hand, it's probably gonna be gonna be nuts. Um another thing that's nuts is what we draw into. If we can keep the barraging, the blood rush and the beast within here, we have an insane value three card hand. But yeah, let's see what's coming in from Katsu. So as I said, he probably has the nuts and we should be thinking about not get, letting him get any triggers in the first two, maybe three attacks here. So he can't search with Lynx and, um, and the Katsu trigger. The flashback is basically a no-brainer here in the first one. We do need to come over five block though. Um, so at least six, because it's very likely there's an Art of War in his arsenal. Or maybe an Ancestral Empowerment. So I choose not to go with the Savage Feast and Scouting flashback back block here it, unfortunately it's sort of yeah we we sort of need to over block here by a bit but because the match is as quick anyways the one point of, of block will probably not matter the next thing obviously if he keeps a big hand is big uh, you, you should should know that he has the natural combo for at least two pieces um right now i still think i can can keep my stonks hand so I'm more than happy to put on the, the husk here. And you don't want to do that in games that go longer. In the aggro matchups, blocking an on-hit like this, especially if you're able to keep a, a, a hand like that, um, the husk is the right choice though. And it very much seems like we did the correct choice in blocking here, as there's only another four, four coming in. Of course, there's the possibility of him cracking boots here and searching something with with the links but we can ignore that for now um importantly he's he kept his his arsenal and we made him basically ip so intellect penalty himself because he wasn't able to play either the arsenal card or the one with we intimidated with the scrolling flashback so yeah that that the turn um exchange went really really well for us and now we can Capitalize on that even more. And we drew into a perfect hand as well. So by now, surely there's no way for the Katsu to come back into this game, right? Surely not. Once again, Katsu takes the whole the whole damage. And even here he only blocks as much as he has to. So we should once again be scared and um, seeing how he has five cards. 
he probably has a natural combo in hand. And as I said, coming from Katsu, I know how those go. You never want to block the surging, overblock the surging strike uh, if he has the second piece anyway, especially with us only having two blocking cards here. So the only logical thing to do is, uh, of course, do the mistake here and, and, and do block the surging strike. Uh, there is the, the art of war from him. And seeing how he pitched a whelming gust with, by the way, is a clear sign that he has the, the combo piece in hand. And now we can only block another four, four points of value here. So with breaking scales, he'll get the trigger anyways. Clear misplay on my part then. I shouldn't have blocked the surging strike because he gets the, the, the cuts to trigger on this turn anyways. Uh, I need to block the whelming gust wave here. And overblock it by at least at least one, so he doesn't get the the draw. Um, but okay, that that happens if you play quick. If you play too quick, that that's always an option. Uh, now let's see. Well, we're still in thirty. I mean, no way we lose this game, right? Okay, bonds obviously, and then there's also this mask of the pouncing links up. All while he he still has that art of war active, so he can generate. A lot of value with that. Right now I'm still thinking, okay, maybe he can't... Maybe I can flip into into Redeemed in my turn. Um, I'm not... I mean, consumed, obviously. But uh, if, you, if you're a, a person of the mathematics, you will quickly notice that I won't stay above, above 13 life. And cuts his turn here. There's at least 100 wins and another card coming in. The Lunxy just popped, so there's actually an extra bonds and something else coming in here. Now, Whelming gets go again from the Breeze Riders, activates the bonds that he fetched with the Mask of the Pouncing Lynx. And then after that, we get a. Another whelming incoming. No, oh, sorry, another hundred wins incoming actually. And then another whelming for four. And Lord of Wind, interestingly enough, to finish that up. So that could have gotten way worse. Of course, we will take blood at this turn because we can't actually turn it off. Still, we we are forcing him to block with at least three cards, unless he has a direct hand, which he doesn't. So that's good for us. And yeah, with this hand. Especially with him not throwing anything, I'm pretty sure we are sealing the deal here. Though, at one point he had 1 HP and we had 30, and now it's down to 1 to 6, so um, that shows just how scary Katsu really is. <laughs> Another insane hand here, obviously, but yeah, no way for him to block 15 damage. Though Flick Flag does block quite a bit. So he can block another 8 here. And if he had the direct in Arsenal, then he would have actually able to survive. But he doesn't, and that's another another game one with the Levaya. Um, as always, if you want to see more of that and, and other heroes, I appreciate the subscribe, and then I'll see you tomorrow.